Okay, so the question here at the beginning of this lecture was, um, you know, where do the pollutants come from? So we had to take this side step to look at, okay, where do the pollutants, what are the pollutants, and, uh, you know, uh, where possibly could they come from? We said burning of fossil fuels and human activity. All right, and so where do we, when do we burn fossil fuels? Well, one of the major contributors to um, pollution, air pollution, is your combustion engine in your car. And this particular um, graph, you can see it in your notes if you can't see it well here on the screen, is um, an emissions report from somebody's car. All right, and so the, at, the, at the emission place where you get your car inspected, um, they're going to be testing for four different um, things. Car, uh, hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons are right here, carbon monoxide, uh, NOx, we'll explain that later, and carbon dioxide. All right. Now, at this point, um, I think you, and what, what this particular graph is, is showing, and we'll take a close look at this one, um, what this particular graph is showing is, I'm going to try to zoom it, um, whoa, okay, there we go. Um, what this particular graph right here is showing, let's see if it's going to focus, it's not focusing. Anyway, um, what this graph is showing is um, the hydrocarbons coming out of the emission, uh, your tailpipe. And this is, the blue line is how fast they're running the engine, the speed. The red is the, um, the amount per mile that's going to come out in grams per mile of the hydrocarbon, and then this is time. So as time passes, they're just, um, you know, they're running it for four minutes, basically, at um, these, these different um, speeds. And the green line here on your picture shows anything above the green line is considered, you know, um, a health hazard. Anything below is within the limits that's allowable. So if your car is, you know, emitting over the allowable, then they'd say, okay, you need to go get your car tuned up. And in this case, hydrocarbons, sometimes these are also called VOCs. I'll write that over here, VOCs. And that stands for volatile, volatile, which means evaporates easily. Organic, uh, organic means made of carbon, hydrogen, possibly oxygen and nitrogen, depending on what the organic is, but organic is carbon-based compound. Uh, compound. Okay? Um, hydrocarbon is a VOC. Is, uh, and, and, you know, hydrocarbon, uh, the gasoline that you put into your car is hydrocarbon, like octane is a primary component, and there's other um, hydrocarbons, alkanes, and chains, and various um, other things in there, but octane is the primary um, component in gasoline. And so what happens is you'll see that sometimes the hydrocarbons, um, you emit hydrocarbons along with um, the rest of the stuff that's coming out of the back of your tailpipe. That means that you have uh, another uh, way of uh, indicating that your engine isn't um, being terribly efficient. And um, it's another indication of incomplete combustion. If you had complete combustion, it would be all carbon dioxide and water coming out the back. But we also have some VOCs, and there's an acceptable range um, for those. Um, carbon monoxide, here you're checking the carbon monoxide. And um, the blue, again, is the speed. And the interesting thing for the carbon monoxide is that the, the amount of carbon monoxide coming out that is higher at the lower speeds than at the higher speeds. OK, so there's something about the way the combustion engine was designed in a car. It's less efficient at lower speeds. And what did we say uh, previously? Where does the carbon monoxide come from? This is a pollutant. From what you've just learned today, you ought to be able to tell me that the carbon monoxide also comes from incomplete combustion. Um, at that point in time, when the car isn't going very fast or is even idling, um, you have a higher concentration of carbon monoxide coming out of your tailpipe because there's not enough oxygen. Um, now, why do you think that's the case? Well, if you're not moving your car, and you're burning the oxygen that's right around the engine, then the oxygen concentration is going to go down. But when your car is driving along, the air is free to move about um, your engine, and the, the um, carbon monoxide actually um, goes down. So idling is not good. Think about that when you're sitting in the drive through line um, at the McDonald's. Turn the car off. OK? Um, NOx, what in the world is that? We'll come back to that in a minute. 
Um, and then carbon dioxide, the thing that, that I want to point out here with the carbon dioxide is on your emission, car emission, it doesn't have a green line, which means that there's not an, a, it's not a pollutant per se. The reason why they um, check your CO2 emission is because it tells you something about how well your engine's running. And if the engine is running well, you're going to have a higher carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide output. So they're going to compare your carbon dioxide to your carbon monoxide to see whether or not you're going to pass inspection and to see whether or not you know, your car is in properly tuned. Um, carbon, mon carbon dioxide um, is a bit of an issue, um, not because it's, it's considered a pollutant. We'll talk about it um, here a few weeks down the road when we talk about global warming. Okay, so um, um, at this point, um, I want to just tell you that by understanding combustion reactions, we can understand these um, uh, emission reports a little bit better. We can understand, you know, that the carbon monoxide and the hydrocarbons are coming directly from the incomplete combustion of um, the hydrocarbon, the fuel, the octane, and the other types of alkanes that are in your gasoline engine. And the NOx, we're going to talk about that in the next video. So that's all for this video.